So I have a little bit of an announcement to make. Uh, it is May 2021, and the studio is complete. Uh, it is ready for operations. And what you're going to see over the next few weeks are all the work that we've done in the last few months. Um, because I've been keeping something from you, and I kind of don't want to talk about it, but I, I think you should know because there's going to be a long gap. I mean, not like I have a ton of viewers, and in fact, if you have any ideas on how to change that, I wouldn't mind listening to you. Um, but uh, right about the time I started this channel, like maybe a few weeks after, uh, when I was just getting ready, uh, episode one had just launched, uh, I got a call from my doctor. Now you see, a year or so ago, I had a gallbladder attack. Big surprise, right? Well, they kept finding things, and I started scanning farther and farther north on my body, kept finding things, and I said, eh, they want to know what that is, and they wanted to know what that is, and they wanted to know what that is. Uh, it turns out most everything is okay. Even my gallbladder is okay. I don't need to have it removed. But um, I got a call from the scheduling department of my medical insurance, and I'm very happy to have medical insurance at this moment, saying that I need to schedule an MRI uh, to take a look at that mass in my brain that my doctor told me about. No call from my doctor ever came. In fact, I never spoke to that doctor ever again after that moment. Yeah, what mass in my brain? Like, can you give me, can you give me the paper cut and the decapitation? What are we talking about here? Because very rarely does the phrase mass in your brain end in free beer and pizza. And, uh, uh, well, I went in for an MRI, and as it turns out, I have something called a pituitary macroadenoma. Uh, so it is a brain tumor, but of the brain tumors to get, this is the one you're, you're aiming for. This is the one you want. Uh, they don't have to, uh, uh, they don't have to crack my head open. Uh, you know, my prognosis is very good. It is very, very unlikely to be cancerous. Um, and to be honest with you, when I found out I had it, I was a little bit relieved because maybe that explains some things that I've been going through. Uh, if you know me in other media, you know, I haven't really hidden the fact that I suffer from things like depression or de depression-related objects, and this might explain some of that. It can't explain all of it, but it might explain some of it. So I actually kind of felt a little bit of relief when, uh, uh, when it happened, when I heard about it. But I didn't want it to, um, I didn't want to make this channel, I didn't want to make it my life, and frankly, I love doing this, what I've been doing here. Uh, but I set a goal for myself that I wanted the studio to be completely operational before I went under the knife. And that has happened. And we recorded vast chunks of it. Um, and uh, uh, over the next few weeks, automatically, you're going to be seeing those episodes. Now, if you're on, if you're one of my patrons, if you're on my Patreon, you're going to get it in one go. You're going to see in the next couple of weeks, you're going to get one post from me that's like an hour of material. That's everything from uh, March until now, basically. And uh, so, I mean, you know, if you want to join my Patreon and get ahead of the game, I, I guess you could do that. Uh, no, you know, but otherwise you're going to see it. But yeah, I wanted to make sure the studio was done before I went under the knife so that I can now spend the next few months paying attention to some, a little, focusing a little bit more internally. Um, and so you're going to have maybe a month or so of episodes, but then there's going to be another gap. And I wanted to explain that gap before, uh, before too long. I just didn't want to fade out on you. I, I actually kind of like doing this. Um, I kind of like showing off the cool stuff that I that I I, I have, and, and frankly, the cool friends that I've got. I want you all to meet. Well, I mean, you are my cool friends. I have 100 subscribers. I probably know all of you personally. Um, so yeah, I want you to meet yourself. Uh, so I'm going to go on a break. You're going to see the completion of the studio. You're not going to miss a thing. And then there's going to be a little bit of a gap. And then I'm going to come back. 
And then there's more stuff here in the studio that we could do. For example, we need to do uh, the sound treatment in the room. We haven't done anything in sound. It's actually pretty echoey in here. We need to do something about that. We've also mentioned a couple times the hat rack. Uh, which is the replacement for the guest table. The guest microphone table is temporary. I have this design for this idea for a table for the guests that we're going to be implementing when I come back. Um, there were two methods I was thinking of that uh, Sharon and I were going over, and the two major ideas we decided on was something we called the hat rack and something we called the chandelier. Chandelier. Well, the hat rack won because it seemed a lot more flexible, and what it is is it's a round table, and then you cut a hole in it, and then you stick a pole in that hole and hang the microphones off of it like a hat rack. And what that does is it separates the table that people are leaning on from the, from the structure that actually holds the microphones. Because in the last studio uh, I had, my home studio, which was where the YouTube channel gets its name, uh, every time somebody did this, the microphones just picked up on it. It sounded like they were banging on 55-gallon drums with mallets. And so I wanted to get rid of that. I wanted to kill that dead. And so that's going to go in there. Um, also, I haven't done anything with the 5-volt logic on the board yet. We don't have any on-air signs. We don't have any signage at all. The station needs a logo. Whiteboards aren't going to do it. And so there's like a lot of cool stuff going on with the station uh, going, going forward that you're going to see. There's also some other stuff that has nothing to do with the station that I kind of want to uh, think about. Like, for example, uh, Sharon gifted me a third-gen iPod. And I'm like, ooh, I should get this working again. Because you know what? I like having a music player that people can't talk to me on. And then I went on a little bit of an iPod buying spree and discovered the iPod modding community, and now I really want to give it a shot. Similarly, um, I'm into old computers. In fact, you might be able to guess what my favorite form factor of computer is. I don't... I'm not going to give you any hints. I'm just going to say, guess my favorite form factor of uh, retro computing. Man, I've been into old computers for a long time. I'm, I'm really excited that retro computing, like there's a retro computing section of YouTube and whatnot. I love that stuff because for me, a good weekend for years was uh, a six pack and a $20 computer and a screwdriver. Like that was my weekend. I love doing that. And, and well, I guess it shows. Uh, I have, I'm kind of turning my house into a, a retro computing museum. Um, I'm, I'm, and so maybe I could, show off some of my work there. The other thing I'm thinking about is actually building a completely separate radio station, uh, a part 15 AM station, 100 milliwatt AM station, as a way to sort of show off the software side of the radio station that was already configured and running when I started Wave 4 Mortchard. So it would be a way to show you what, uh, sort of the way I, I, I do the, the back end of radio, like, like the stuff between the microphone and the transmitter. So that, that might be something I do. It's, it would be a way to show off more open source software. I, because, well, I achieve my goal. Everything right now, save for the EAS box, because that has to be FCC type certified, everything between the microphone and the transmitter is open source software. It was either stuff that I, uh, stuff that was just off the shelf that I could use, stuff that I modified, or in a couple cases, stuff that I kind of wrote because to fill a need. And I'm going to keep doing that. One of the things that I'm hoping to work on is a free seven-second dump, uh, because that's not a feature that most LPFMs have. And uh, maybe they don't want it, but it would be... It actually seems like kind of a fun project to do, so I may give it a shot. And then there's improvements to the show. The sound quality is subpar. I know that. The camera work is whatever. Like, I'm, I'm going to invest in a, in a shotgun mic. Uh, that's really the mi right microphone for this task. Uh, I know studio microphones and stage microphones. I, I'm not a video guy, and, and so this is all new territory for me. And then, um, yeah, I guess I'll stick with it, you know, maybe see if I can get more viewers in. I, have, I literally have no idea how to do that. I, uh, ask an atheist, it was a, it was a you, if you build it, they will come kind of situation. But that was 2010, that was 11 years ago. Uh, situation was a little different then. But I really enjoyed this adventure. I really liked building 
the studio, and I liked building the studio with you. If I could change anything, I'd like more of you here with me. Uh, I'd like to thank Sharon. I'd like to thank Becky. Uh, I'd like to thank Josh. I'd like to thank Chris. I'd like to thank Paul. I'd like to thank Philip. Uh, Nathan got us some equipment for the show. Philip got us the phones and some of the computers that were running. Uh, Paul helped me put up this, this, uh, whiteboard. Sharon, you've seen the, you know, half the stuff and all the power tool work after my incident. And, uh, uh, the list goes on. I mean, it's, it's, I ended up, did, I ended up getting a lot more help than I was expecting. And I'm really thankful for that. And I'm thankful to you for listening and uh, for watching. And I'm very thankful uh, to my patrons. Uh, thank you for, for helping me keep the lights on and buying some of this gear. And uh, I, I think some of the Patreon money is going to go into some new lab equipment because my lab equipment is bad and old and bad and old. So that's all I've got to say. I, in a couple days' time, you're going to get the next episode of, uh, of Wave from Warchers. We're going to be back at it. And uh, I will see you when I'm feeling better. <laughs>